SpaceX is uh, arming the command to send a Dragon to resume its approach to the International Space Station. John Caloris, the mission director there in Hawthorne, California, is uh, talking with his team. They'll be executing this here uh, shortly. See mode approach. The command is being sent. We concur, Andre. The vehicle is uh, resuming the approach from 250 meters. You can perform step five now in your procedure. You have a go to send the hold command at 235 meters. Hold command at 235. Station Houston on space to ground two for Dragon. Go ahead. We are going to continue sending the vehicle toward 30 meters. You will see uh, the vehicle begin the approach momentarily. We are going to be continuing to monitor the thermal imager data, and we'd like to ask you to continue to monitor yourselves uh, per step six. This is station on camera seven vehicle, maybe one quarter. Forward of vehicle outline, slightly uh, smaller. And camera nine, it's about one third forward of outline and same size. I copy, Andre. Good report. Thank you. Houston Station, we completed step three, and crew is ready for Dragon approach to capture point. Andre, we copy. You've completed the brief. Stand by. So Dragon continues to uh, wait about 30 meters away from the International Space Station. You see the uh, station's arm there poised, ready to reach out and capture Dragon. Station Houston on Space to Ground 2. Dragon will be departing the 30-meter hold momentarily. Station Houston, you have a go for capture. Go for capture. This is Mission Control Houston. Don Pettit will now take control of the space station's 58-foot long robotic arm. He will reach out and uh, attempt to capture this Dragon spacecraft, which is now holding at 10 meters away from the space station complex. The SpaceX team is reporting that uh, Dragon is in free drift. There will be no more engine firings at this point, so basically Dragon flying in formation with the International Space Station as Don Pettit reaches out with the arm to uh, latch onto it. Just a few more feet to go. They're initiating the capture of the Dragon. Standing by. Capture is confirmed. Capture. You've made a lot of folks happy down here over in Hawthorne and right here in Houston. Great job, guys. Uh, Houston Station, looks like we got us a dragon by the tail. Uh, we're thinking uh, this sim went really well. We're ready to turn it around and do it for real. <laughs> All right, Don, we'll put that in work. Houston Station on two with more comments on inspection. Go ahead, Don, on two. Yes, I could verify that all uh, CDM nut holes are clear of any FOD. Uh, there is no loose uh, uh, TMG or micrometeorite shielding. Um, the uh, O-rings all look 
clean, no sign of any micrometeorite impact debris at all. So uh, it looks like a clean interface, and the uh, high-power binoculars, I think, uh, gave us a better view than what we would have seen through the cameras. Copy, Don. Uh, good inspection from your perspective. The station's uh, robotic arm is now being uh, repositioning or is repositioning the Dragon spacecraft to uh, what's known as the pre-install position. You can see the adjustments being made uh, directly through the uh, camera view on the uh, centerline berthing camera system, looking directly up at the uh, Dragon uh, hatchway. The uh, Dragon spacecraft solar rays are now being repositioned for the uh, berthing activities. Once the uh, solar rays on Dragon are uh, verified to be in the proper position, the uh, crew will be given the go to position the uh, spacecraft in what's known as the RTL position or the ready to latch uh, location. Station Houston, Space Ground 2, thrusters are disabled, desets inhibited. We're ready for step 7 of procedure 1.210, Dragon Maneuver from Capture to install. Copy, step 7 at work. Houston Station, we see four green talkback on the RTLs. Houston concurs. And CBM operator, this is SSRMS operator. You have a go for first stage capture. Copy, it's a go for first stage capture. And with that, Houston, I'll put in 1.110 1, steps 1 through 4 and work. Houston, concur. And we have confirmation at 10.52 a.m. of a nominal first stage capture. SSRMS operator, you have a go for SSRMS mode to limp. Copy that. Go for standby and then limp. Station's uh, robotic arm, now the tension of the arm holding uh, Dragon in place has now been released. Uh, essentially, the station's robotic arm is uh, in what's known as limp mode. And that, uh, once that uh, was completed, uh, the crew's been given a go to uh, uh, for second stage capture. That essentially will, uh, is the final step in uh, confirming the actual uh, berthing uh, time of Dragon to the Harmony Module's Nader port or Earth-facing port. This is Mission Control Houston at 11.02 a.m. Central, 12.02 p.m. Eastern Time. Second stage capture is complete at a mission elapsed time for Dragon of three days, eight hours, 18 minutes. The Dragon spacecraft now uh, part of the International Space Station complex, the first ever commercial spacecraft to visit the International Space Station and the first U.S. spacecraft to visit the ISS since uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis last July.